Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on the channel. Today we'll be going through the top 5 ways you can train during lockdown. So if you're new around here, feel free to subscribe with notifications bells turned on. And like the video if you enjoy. Let me know any suggestions you have for training in the comments or anything you want me to do in a future video. Let's get into it. So the first training method is open water swimming. A bit obvious, but definitely something you should be aware of, that you can go swimming. So with the current guidelines, you're allowed to drive somewhere to do an activity. This includes swimming. So I've been for a swim in some local rivers. Well, actually just one, but it was really good. And I definitely recommend you do it. Obviously be aware that you want to be on a river that's quite clean. So I'll link a, dis um, a website in the description which goes through some of the cleaner rivers in the UK. Also be aware that if it's rained really heavily previous days, then the water quality may not be as good as stuff may have run off off the sides. But yeah, some of the tow flow, maybe some of the other people that from a distance. As you really enjoy it, and it'll be good to get out of the house to get back on with swimming. Let's go on to the next one. So the next method is TRX which is a suspension trainer and you can do things such as lifted press ups you can do you can do squats from it you can do lunges you can do lots of different exercises and they have lots of tailored work workouts when you buy one of their suspension trainers on and it has a little code and it gives you access to this online hub of exercises you can do to work on specific areas so it's quite good but it can be quite expensive, so I'm going to also recommend that you can go on websites and buy weight sets, you can buy resistance bands, you can buy lots of different training aids to allow you to do indoor training inside. Okay, so that is definitely something I've been doing a lot of, but my next method is going to be turbo training. Okay, so turbo training is basically you attach your back wheel to this machine, which basically makes your bike into a static bike. I find it really good to work on specific areas such as endurance or speed. Um, as I personally have quite a poor leg kick, it's quite good for boosting my leg strength. It will definitely help me get back into open water swimming more consistently and be able to swim a lot faster with leg kick. But I would definitely recommend getting yourself a fan to keep yourself cool and to listen to music as it can get a bit boring. So the next thing is not necessarily a training type, but it's definitely something I'd recommend everyone does which is keeping up with your stretching. So for me, my flexibility is not great. I've been trying to get some flexibility in there. So I've been trying to stretch, uh, mainly obviously around my legs as I've been doing lots of turbo training, also on my arms and working on shoulder, shoulder mobility. So that's obviously again with things like TRX and resistance bands to like, cause I've had shoulder problems. So I try and build the strength work around the shoulder to help you swim the long distances. So the final method is going for bike rides or runs in groups. So unlike the other ones, it's a bit more of a social activity, so you can meet up with people and go for a bike ride, which is definitely a big factor for me. So going for my weekly bike rides, try and go for the people, because it's more interesting. And yeah, it's also obviously good for your endurance in terms of swimming. And yeah, that's my top five methods. If you guys have enjoyed, I find it helpful. Please subscribe for more videos, uh, like the video, and comment any ideas you have, any training methods, anything. Yeah. I'll see you guys very soon.